Hey, Blockheads, this is DJ AK, the Amanda Knight, and I'm here to let you know that my so-called whatever podcast and No More Games Radio have joined forces. Listen to No More Games Radio on Sundays at 2 p.m. for your favorite episodes of my so-called whatever podcast and maybe a live episode. Who knows? Tune in to my so-called whatever podcast for upcoming No More Games radio features and exclusive stories from our staff and DJs. And as always, follow us on social media at No More Games Radio and at my so-called whatever. Hang tough! Friends forever, that's what we are. Through the thick and the thin, we're friendship stars. We're banger main buddies from the days of old. We laugh, cry, and hug, friendship solid as gold. My soul could whatever started a year ago. We share our stories, and your stories were told. 80s, 90s memories that give us glee. And on the block party shows, and KOTB. Now our friendship circle has grown by far. Hashtag friends forever, that's what we all are. Boom! And if you don't know, now you know. My soul called whatever for life. Hashtag MSCW Hashtag Friends Forever Yeah Uh, 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 uh Yeah Hey Hi It's been a, it's been a minute It has Hi guys I hope Hi guys you Had a Merry Christmas yes, Happy, happy holidays. holidays Whatever holiday you celebrate Right We hope it was a joyous one and safe maybe you saw family maybe you didn't sometimes you don't want some my gosh so family Mm -hmm. and you know there's drama in every family it doesn't Mm -hmm. matter there's drama everywhere this year in particular was hard for me for multiple reasons drama and no drama these groups are amazing because It made me feel like there's people out there that are just like me that are going through a lot of the same things, Mm -hmm. sometimes a lot worse things, which I feel for them. But like, it just gives you like insight, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Um, And and you don't feel so lonely that you're not like, you don't feel like you're going through it. You don't want other people to go through what you're going through, obviously. But other people are. It's not so lonely anymore. I know exactly what you mean. And these yeah. are like Facebook groups. Yeah. And they're just regular Facebook groups. Like I put, I belong to the, um, the average Peloton mom group. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, and this other one, it's like based on a podcast, never have watched the podcast, but I friggin' love this group. It's called like G thanks something, something, something. And they like post just like really cool stuff. Um, it's all over the board. Like they post like the best couches to get, and they post about oh, interesting dealing with their mother in laws, and they post about you know the best kitchen gadgets to buy. It's it's I really love the groups that I'm in. They they're very like especially if you're like tired at night, you know, yeah. but you just you just want to wind down, go into the groups. Just sometimes there's a lot of dramatic ones um, that you're like, oh, shit. Jeez. Now that's, Gosh. Now that's not about me. Yeah. Um, I totally hear you about the group. So I, I don't belong to a ton of Facebook groups, but there are a couple that are really, really wonderful um, with the same sort of stuff. But mm-hmm. then I also have a couple that are like very more specific. Yeah. To like my problems or my issues that I deal with yeah and um and I think I've said it before on our podcast but if I haven't or just as a reminder or for someone that maybe hadn't listened I cannot stress enough if you have lost a loved one and they have them for like all different situations it's the it's the compassionate friends you can look up tcf compassionate friends network oh i don't know about this oh my gosh 
They're amazing. They have it for like child loss, loss of spouse. In my in my case, loss of a sibling. Also loss of siblings due to substance abuse. Very specific. Mm-hmm. Um, and they are amazing. It's just pe- people who are going through it as you have. And they, you can talk you can share as much as you want or you don't have to share anything at all but there's going to be someone there can i be just a lurker because i'm a, i'm just a lurker you can be a lurker okay i'm a lurker for the most part i'm a lurker i did share a post back really really early on after my brother passed um because i needed i just needed i just needed to be seen i i know what you mean bro Yes. I needed I needed him to be seen. Mm-hmm. I needed to be seen and and him not to be forgotten. Right. And the support was amazing from people who have been there and who get it. Right. So, I'm just going to say that that has been a wonderful wonderful uh source for me. Um the compassionate friends, just look it up. They're wonderful. And they even have some like chapters, local chapters that will meet. Really? They do. And I don't know. I think that they do have one in Maine, um, but it is not, I think it's for child loss. So it's not okay. in my situation, it, it wouldn't apply. But if you're from like a bigger area, mm-hmm. or like a city, you, there might be more Yeah, um, probably than what we have here in Maine. But right. anyway, I just want to plug that because those are Facebook groups. If we're talking about Facebook groups that have helped you through, you know, this time of year. Right. This is a hard time of year for many reasons. And it, it's very hard. And it now ne- it never used to be for me. Like that's the thing. Right. Like this was always I couldn't wait for Christmas. I could yeah. not wait for Christmas. And this Christmas has been exceptionally difficult. Exceptionally difficult. Um I'm sure. For for many reasons. Hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. For many reasons. Yep. So I would I think I'm gonna go and look at those. Maybe they have some like for what I'm going through right now. I mean, they, they very well may, they, they do have a lot. So, and they're great. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there same, like what you were saying. It's just so crazy to think that at this age, never had what I have ever imagined that I wouldn't have my parents. I know not to get serious. (laughs) I can't, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. And I know that there are people listening right now that are in that same position. You just never, you never would think that like it's, and it's weird because, you know, obviously, you know, eventually people live and then they die. Like obviously 100% understood, but I just never pictured this. I never pictured what things would, I, I, I picture so many things in my life, like, like what my kids would be like, or, you know, even like bad stuff, because that's Mm -hmm. just, I'm neurodivergent. (laughs) And one of the biggest things that I do is I make up really bad scenarios in my head. Like Mm -hmm. it's just a little thing that I do and it's not good, but it prepares me sometimes (laughs) for bad things. Um, it's also very bad, so don't do that. But, um, I just never, it's crazy to think about it. It never crossed my mind, never crossed my mind that right now I would, I mean, my mom is still alive. Right. But she's on, what is it called? Like palliative, palliative care. I guess that's what you call it. Kind of like hospice. Yeah. Um, and my dad passed in February. So it's, it's just, you just don't, you don't prepare yourself for that. I don't, I don't think you can. No, you can't. And my mom and I had a different relationship, you know, Mm -hmm. growing up, um, which has been a discovery all on its own. Um, but the one thing we bonded over was Christmas. We bonded over decorating and passing down, Christmas decorations, you know, and, and my kids really aren't into it. They're just not, and I'm not going to force them to be into it, you know, Yeah. but I was really into it. My mom was really into it. 
And this Christmas, it, it's not like I, cause last year I didn't have her. And the year before that, I didn't um, have her. She wasn't able to help me with my decorations. Um, mm-hmm. But this year, just, I think it was cause my dad's not here. And yeah. just that, like in my head, you know, those two things, it's like, Ooh, sorry. This got like serious real fast. It did, but it's, it's, but it is after all it's 22 re- 2022 recap. And, uh, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. And, you know, it has definitely affected the podcast 100%. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of days that I have a real hard time getting out of bed. Um, and just doing like normal everyday stuff. And I have a really supportive husband um, that really would does just about anything to like comfort me when those things happen. Um, Because I never in a million years would think I wouldn't be able to get out of bed. Like just get out of bed, like put your feet down, get your butt up and get out of bed. And like I've canceled appointments because I'm I I just can't stop crying or you know and it, and it's not just this it's like other stuff too but man 2022 really effing sucked it really really did it really did yeah 20 2022 has been a hard year you know it's been I know it's been hard for you I know it's been hard for you. It, for me, I don't even, I don't know what 2022 has been for me. And I know that sounds weird. No, that doesn't sound weird. I feel like 2022 hasn't even existed. Right. It's just kind of there. It's like it, you existed this year. Like I, I will say I've had a lot of fun. We've definitely yeah. had a lot of fun. We've definitely had some really good times. I will say 2022, you brought it in. You brought in some good times. Thank freaking God. Yeah. You know, and that's, but that's life. Right. There's highs and there's lows. Right. And, you know, you, you just have to kind of roll with it and and deal with it and do what you can with it. And if you need help, you ask for help. And right. But I don't know. 2022, I feel like it, I honestly feel like it barely happened. It's gone by so fast. It really, so fast. Holy cow. My, my work has been like ridiculously busy. I've had the best year I've ever had. That's amazing. I've made more money this year than I've ever made. Yay. Which is great. That's amazing. Yeah. And I feel very good about that. Um, but it's been so busy and like I've worked for it. God, you so, work so much. Oh I feel God. like I've missed out on stuff. Mm. Sort of. Mentally, it's exhausting. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Mentally, yeah. I am so tired. And I feel like I focus so much on work that I've let other areas of my life slip. Right. And I don't know where that balance is. And I don't know if I can find it. I've been trying. I feel like I've been chasing it all year. And I haven't found it. And I think that I need to hire a house cleaner. That would be huge. So I'm putting that in the universe. I'm going to put it in the universe for both of us, if you don't mind. If you don't mind me, like, back with you on this journey. No, not at all. Because I think that that would honestly help. But it's hard to yes. find people here. Because you're so right. The work-life balance is so important for mm-hmm. so many reasons. And I didn't have it for so many years. And I don't want you to feel the same way I do looking back how much I yeah. missed. Because I yeah. missed so much. So much I missed. And guess what? My freaking job wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth no. it. I was no. just a number to them. Same. But um, I gave them everything I had. So much so that I didn't have anything left to give my kids. Um, right. And... You know, I, there were, there was a time I had to work 8 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. Mm-hmm. So I never got to make dinner. So Kevin made dinner. Like Kevin was the one that made dinner for how many years? Because 
that was my schedule and that's what I had to work. I did dinner on the days that I wasn't, but it's still, it's little things like that, like little things that I missed. Um, and I regret it, but I feel like I'm making up for it now. Yep. I don't miss any of my kids games, um, or extracurriculars or, you know, if they want to have a party here with their friends, like, please just had the basketball team over. (laughs) Right. Which is awesome. And that was fun. I made them Santa hats with like little basketballs on them. They were really cute. Their name. And they loved them. They were so appreciative. They were so so cute. I loved it. So your cousin had one. Yes, he did. (laughs) Coach. And then Brooke's cousin is Bryn's coach as well. So yeah, it's just please like whatever you can do to make that balance happen, make it happen. And it might involve hiring a cleaner. It might involve right having somebody else do your laundry. It might involve so many different things. Having having a service come and mow your lawn and and take care of that stuff. You know, like yeah. At some point, you just got to be like, you know what? I can't do it. I can't. There's I don't no. have any left to give. So and that's and I and I think I may have also said this on the past podcast. I have no shame in taking laundry and dropping it off and having somebody else wash and fold. Right. No shame. There's nothing wrong with that. At all. A lot of people do that. I get overwhelmed. Yeah. And if I need it off my plate and done, I package it up in the in my laundry baskets and I drive it over to the laundry basket. Good for you. The laundry basket is the laundromat. And they do it and they do a beautiful job. Beautiful job. And it smells delightful. And and I feel good about it. So guess what? If you know any any <laughs> reputable house cleaners yes, in our area. In our area, know. please. Because they are very hard mm. to find. They're Let hard to find because the good ones are booked. The good ones are booked. And the ones that are there are some different people. <laughs> there are mm-hmm. some very different people. Um and that like the ones that I've talked to, like red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. And I ignore the red flags. And then I'm like, okay, that's a, that's a banner. That's a red banner. I need to stop. Like, no. Yeah. Yeah. So what we can talk about to make this a little lighter. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Let's lighten up the mood a little bit. We know what we've struggled with in 2022. let's, Let's talk about, Let's intro because we haven't done that halfway oh, through the episode. Hit balls. All right. <laughs> All right. This is Brooke. And this is Nikki. And this is my so called whatever. Hey, and if you didn't already know, it's not a block party. It's no, just this... a regular episode where we shoot the shit. Just to be honest. And, and it's our 2022 recap. 2022 recap. Yeah. Where we talk about all the shit that's happened. And so far, we've been Debbie Downers. <laughs> so far. So far. But you know what? That's going to change. Because right, there were some right now. really good things that happened in 2022. There were some really awesome things that happened in 2022. Yep. Take, for instance, the concerts we went to. I had my first individual. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes. So we did three concerts. Yes, we did. We and did. the first of the three were the Barstools. Oh, hands on. And your individual. Yeah. Ultimate, whatever they call it now. Ultimate, yes. Yeah. And, and boy, um, was it ultimate. It was it ultimate. It was amazing. Ultimate. But we have to somehow figure out how to do that, like the last concert. Somehow, some way. We have to figure out how to do and not the first. Last. Last. Because bar stools, you got those who have done it. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. They're the best. Oh my God. They're the they're the freaking best. Right. And you're just like. If you have that your first concert, you're like, shit, man. Like anything else. I mean, they're all great. They're all great. And you enjoy the concert regardless, but you don't enjoy it as much as you did from that bar stool. No. I mean, let's just let's just face facts. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, Joey McIntyre doesn't hold your hand when you're not on bar stools. Well, actually, sometimes he does because he gets into the crowd and whatever. But like Yeah, but but like your chances are much, much, much slimmer. Right. And I was like, oh, hello. Yes, please take my hand. Thank you. I appreciate you, sir. I just... <sighs> I do have to interrupt this this podcast episode real quick. Yeah. With a message 
from Kitty Loring. You know who you are. You know what you did. She sent me this picture today. It's actually go look at Joey McIntyre's story on Instagram right now. Wait. All right. I need to go look at this. Yeah. So go look at his story on Instagram and look at the picture. Look at his hair. Oh, my good God. 1999 Joe is back. Oh, here we go. Give that to me all day long. Oh, my gosh. Is that not amazing? Is that that not amazing? Holy shit. She sent that to me and I was like, oh, my God. Like, I got all the feels. Like, what's he doing? That's amazing. That looks really good. I'm going to, I'm actually going to message him and I'm just going to say, just, just want to tell you, your hair looks freaking amazing. (laughs) That is all. Message sent. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, crap. I sent it under my, I should have sent it under my, I should have sent it under my, whatever, but I sent it under my other one. He'll never see it. So, you know, I'm going to go on my so-called whatever. (laughs) And send the same thing. Yes, just you in should. case. Just in case. I feel like the pink stands out sometimes. Like the it pink does. In our, you know. Yeah, um, it does. We're not just you're not just another face in the crowd. To take a moment <laughs> to tell you how amazing your hair looks. I mean, it always looks good, but this chef's kiss. That is all. <laughs> Over and out. He's probably like. This bitch. What's wrong with her? Who, you? Yeah. No. Anyway, just had to interrupt that with that very important message because Katie sent that to me tonight and I almost threw my phone. You should screenshot it and we can put it on the website. I already screen. I Done. Done. It's done. Perfect. It's done. So if you guys missed it, check out our website. It'll be there. Right. Um, it does look amazing. 1990 Joe, how you doing? 1999 Joe, how you doing? Where's your red vest? Oh, I was just gonna say, let's let's get him a red puffy vest and let's send it to him. Oh my gosh. You know I'm serious when my eyes get real wide. I know, but I also know you know what he would do with that package? Throw it away. He'd throw it in the trash. <laughs> he wouldn't even open it. <laughs> like, who Probably the fuck not. is this from? Probably not. That's all right. Oh my so called whatever, all oh, those bitches. Jeez. <laughs> those bitches <laughs> no it was a good year for concerts though it was it was so nice having a tour like a like a normal tour and i really enjoyed the way that we did it to be honest with you i mean i would have liked to have our stools last but but yes. i enjoyed that we had the mohegan sun concert mm-hmm. and then we took our daughters to the boston yep and had like time with our family and then we did another meet and greet the second boston yep it was five star and it was fun and we had it was fun seats. and we had great seats oh my god they were so good we had great seats other than the fact that like you couldn't hear for three days after yeah that i, I seriously you guys <laughs> i've never experienced that in my life darn new kids yeah worth it 100 percent. oh yeah totally worth it so that was amazing that was that was really really fun and we got to see our, our friends yeah a bunch of friends not all of our oh, friends yeah. we got to see we a got bunch see of our friends and a bunch of you guys yeah and um so but before that but back in may kevin was like this is what i'm doing putting you girls on the cruise and we were like say say less say, say less, less. <laughs> and we went on that freaking cruise and it was so fun i had it so was, much fun oh my god it was really really fun you know it's weird because like and we've talked about this I had a lot of fun on the first cruise we went on in 2018. I had a lot of fun on this cruise. I don't know which one was more fun. I think that they were just different. They were. It was a blast. I don't, I don't think they're comparable. Also, I flew first class for the first time. Yeah. And never going back. No, I was just talking about that today to a client. I was, I was like, it's worth it, it. It was the best thing we could have ever done. It was the best thing we could have ever done. And when it's you and me and we're going on the cruise, we're forking that cash over. That's all. That's it. That's all. That's Sorry, that's, that's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. Because hopefully I keep having good years. It took so much stress. It took so much stress out yeah. uh, of the equation and just made travel so much better. 
Yeah. For so many reasons. Like there were, there were multiple reasons. And it was funny because when Kevin was looking for flights to New York, um, he was like, and we can do first class. And I was like, Kevin, it's okay not to do first class from here to New York because it's not the same. <laughs> no, it's not the same. It's, yeah. I've I've done first class from here to New York, even to Charlotte. And it's not the same. It's a shorter flight. I mean, here to New York is an right. hour. Right. So like maybe an hour and 20. It, it's not. But to right. Miami. Right. Actually, I didn't more. do first class to Charlotte. Where was it? D.C. I did first class to D.C. And that was the same. It's just it's just you're in the front of the plane and you can serve you drinks. Right. They're regional jets. Yeah. They're smaller regional jets. But to Miami. <laughs> um. Yeah. So that was an amazing experience. So we had some really cool. We had some really, really cool stuff happen. And we have some really cool stuff in the works, too. There's a couple things coming down the pike. Yeah. And we're really excited about it and we'll be excited to share it with you when we can. So 2023, should we dive into that? Predictions? Predictions. Putting in the universe? Putting it into the universe. I don't have predictions, but I I have some things I want to put in the universe. Okay, you go first. Okay. In the universe, I am putting some sort of in sync reunion. I'm begging. You know, it can be four of them. That's fine. I'm yeah, down. Have you have you been watching that JC account on tw- on TikTok? Yes, they I are love so it. good. Oh my gosh, I let them know too. I'm like, thank you for this. I appreciate this in my life. JC, speaking of JC, it's called Justice Number Four. JC, right? Speaking of JC, that's another thing I want to put in the universe. I'm I'm determined somehow somehow I want him on this podcast. Good and God, I, I would. And die. I think I would I th- die. You would die. I would die. I'd be on the floor right here. See where my tree is? That's where I'd be. Um, I'd be like, oh, baby, bring it on to me. Oh, my God. I freaking love that song. I, I really think, honestly, if we could somehow get him in at the right time, in the right way, I, I really kind of think he might do it. You know, hey, stranger things have happened. Okay, let's put it into the universe. JC on the podcast, 2023. 2023. I just, I really, really want that to happen for us. <laughs> yes. I really do. There's this like intention book that I want to get that you like mm-hmm. write down your intentions, like what you want to happen in 2023. And you keep writing them down, writing them down, writing them down. And supposedly, if you keep doing that, if you keep writing things down, it's not magic, it's training your brain saying this is going to happen. Right. And then things fall into place. So it's just like affirmations in a way. Right. It's like if you look in the mirror every morning and you say, I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. Guess what? You're going to be a bad bitch. So any other things you want to put in the universe? Personally? Um, Personally, hmm, I would like to, I would like to (laughs) lose weight. Of course. I, that's going to be from my forever. Mm-hmm. Um, will I? I don't know. I would like to think so, but I've got to figure out a way that's, that it's going to work for me Yeah, because I can't seem to land on anything that's going to work for me. Right. You got to do what's best for you. And I've got to, and I'm trying to figure that out. I was just saying today to one of my coworkers, maybe I'm just meant to be this. Maybe I'm just meant to be this. I mean, there are, are worse you, things. Are you happy? No. Okay. <laughs> like if I'm being honest. Yeah. Oh, I would like to I would like to be able to walk into a store and buy clothes. Same. And not have to fucking order online. Actually, I'll because... never be able to do that. So But you'd be able to do that with like shirts. You're tall. Actually, but shirts like... is like the most that I I definitely like the tall stuff in shirts. But I would I would love to just even be able to walk into a store and just put something on and be like, ta-da. If it's yeah, I mean you know? that's that's the thing. Like, I don't want to have to order online because I need, you know, right a size that they don't carry, right? Understood. Anywhere. Understood. So that's I would I would be very very happy with that. Yes. 
So I'm not asking for, I'm not asking to be skinny. I would just like to go into a store and be able to buy something off the rack. I am right there with you. I would like to see that for 2023. Okay. That sounds good. I think that's a reasonable request. I I think so too. I think so too. And I, I, I don't think I'm that far from it. No, you're not. You're not. Because, you know, you know, yeah. So, you know, that's, that's where I would like to be. Nothing crazy. And I would like to somehow get my house organized. Okay. These are a couple of things that I think are attainable if I put some work in. I have to get over my mental hump to do that. I, I'm right there with you. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I don't know what it is I need. I need to figure out something. Yeah. But. But that's what that's what I would like to put in the universe for okay. myself. What about for you? I'm going to ride on your coattails, if that's how you say it. Yep. And that was a weird, like, <laughs> positioning of my hand there. Um, I, I, I don't only want to lose weight, though, for, I mean, it'd be great to go into a store. I just want to feel better. And I haven't felt good in, like, probably seven years, about seven years haven't felt great and it keeps getting worse. So um, since my doctor can't figure out what's wrong with me, I just, I know what I need to do. I just want to have the willpower to do it. And so that is what I'm putting into existence into 2023 is that I am going to have the willpower to do it. And I will start feeling better. Yes. In more ways than one. I want that for you. And I also would like to organize my house more. So I would like to be able to let things go and sell them. I have too many emotional attachments to things. And I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but I do. Yep. Yes. Um, and I'm starting to get better, but it's been really hard. And I'd like to take that little bit of money that I make, well, it's not going to be a little bit. It's going to be a lot of it <laughs> because I have a lot of stuff. I want to do some, Bryn really wants to go to Sweden. Like that's her dream. She wants to go to Sweden. We're going to go to Sweden. Not, not in 2023. You can totally do that. And it's really not that expensive to go to Sweden. It's really not that expensive. I'm just nervous to go. Cause I don't know Swedish. Bryn's been learning it. You don't need to know Swedish. That's what her friend said. You don't need to know Swedish. They he's all know like, English over there. He's like, we all, we, pr- we speak English. That um, is the difference between the United States and pretty much every other country yeah. in the world. He's such a good egg too. He's such a nice boy. You need to go. I will help you make that happen. Thank you. I appreciate that. So <laughs> I'm going to do that. And I'm going to start saving for that because it means so much to her to go. Mm-hmm. And she's been through some shit. Let's just, yeah. you know, and she has been, she is one of the strongest people that I know. I just, I wish I had as much strength as her. I wish I had just as much strength as she has in her little pinky, because let me tell you, that girl has been handed some shit and she has dealt with it amazingly. So I, I would really, egg. I would really She's love a good to kid. take her to Sweden. Um, the whole family, because Brody really wants to go too. So that would be an amazing graduation gift. That's, and that's what I'm thinking, like graduation. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's a big thing. Um, those are personal ones. Um, yep. I'd like to have a lot less stress in my life because I think I I think that I do a lot of that. Like I put a lot of stress on myself that's unnecessary. And I just need to, like you said, like get over the mental hump of doing that. And I've been learning some techniques and stuff. So we'll see how that works. But for the podcast, here's one of my biggest things I'm throwing into the universe. We have, I would like to do many giveaways this year. I don't know how they're going to work. I don't know what they, they're they going to look like, but I'd right. like to raise some money and I would also like to do giveaways. So we have a lot to give away. We do have a lot to give away. And I have some of my stuff that I'll give away too. So I'm throwing that into the universe and I'm also throwing it into the universe that Lance Bass will come on this podcast. <laughs> yes. That is always <laughs> in the universe. Yes, Lance Bass, and and I also Jordan Knight, and Jordan Knight. But yeah, I mean, I'm not holding my breath. Yes, I had a dream that Joey came back on the podcast. What? 
Hey, that'd be awesome too. And this is stemming from another thing. And I don't, anyway, he wanted to explain the blanket thing more in more detail for some reason. He's always welcome to come and on and do that. I was like, yeah, come on on, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't believe it was happening. Like, you guys, this is not real life. Like, this was a dream. But yeah, he was like, I really want to go back on the my soul call, whatever. Like, he told Jackie or something in my dream. Oh my and Jackie God, was like, I oh my that. God, listen, Joey wants to come back on the podcast. And I was like, let's do this. Is this going to take yeah. three years again? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not. Joey, I would wait I would wait 10 years yes absolutely I'd wait 20 years even if we're not doing the podcast anymore we'll resurrect it for you I'm right here waiting like Richard Marks for you oh I love Richard Marks and your 1999 hair because it's amazing it is amazing <laughs> I, it looks really good it looks so Joey good. that is I mean it it it's 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 a, it's a little bit of a of a glow up I have to post it in the group because not it the looks group, really good in our chat yeah okay so they, they've already posted it um <laughs> they're already talking holy shit it's 1999 joe and i'm here for it he looks good okay so i need i need a meet and greet i need a meet and greet for Carnegie I'm throwing that into the universe because I need a picture of me with 1999 Joe hair I think you're gonna get that I mean I want people who have never met him obviously to, to meet him because you know yeah but if there's but I think that you're I think that you're gonna get something okay I just have a feeling it's oh, there's gonna be something I don't know what it is okay okay I won't get my but hopes up but I will you are there is you're gonna have an opportunity for a photo op I don't know what it is. I'm so excited. It's just a, it's that just a feeling like I a have. Burp. That did sound like a burp. It wasn't. I was like, it was my excited noise. Can you hear when I do this? No. So interesting. It's Zoom. I love you, Zoom. It has a feature that it like, I have it always on because it blocks out background noise. And Brody is constantly on when I'm on, so... Yeah. so yeah so many things um i feel like we're gonna have a really good podcast year like i for some reason just feel like this year is gonna so. be cool and different i hope so we I, the podcast this this was not the best podcast year it wasn't and but i apologize to you guys for that i'm gonna take full blame for it because it was totally no, no 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 it's not but it's not blame it's not blame it's just life it, it just couldn't happen. I feel like I did it an injustice, you know, like, because there were so many cool things we could have done this year with the podcast. I did not have the mental capacity to do it. And no, remember way back, we talked about mental health and how it's important to put you first. And I just did a lot of that this year. Because you needed to. And I needed to. The podcast makes me so happy, though. Like, I'm right. so glad we're recording tonight because I was like, eh, I'm, I don't really know. I have an earache, lame excuse, but I was like, eh, you know, I'm not really feeling it tonight. But then I was like, you know what? No, I am feeling it. And I'm so glad we did. I'm so glad I am we did too. And also, I'm going to say an earache is not a lame excuse because you got to wear these earbuds. And if your ears hurt, it bothers. Not a lame excuse, but, but I'm glad you, I'm glad that you did. It's gone. It ha it's gone like mysteriously that's awesome it was weird because it, usually when that happens i get like an ear infection and then it transfers and i always have it in the other ear which is really weird and maybe there's a reason for that i don't know but um tiktok yeah. will know tiktok will know that is right <laughs> that is right so <laughs> with that being said if there's anything you guys have out there that you want to hear more of or yeah what do you cover from us yeah there are some, Jackie had some really good ideas. A lot of like our moderators had some really good ideas for this year coming up. We're definitely yep. going to tackle some of those things because they're just amazing. I would definitely love to do like a love story thing for just throwing it out there for February. Like first loves, 
like first oh yeah friends in middle school and like how it happened how you broke those up, have always you... been so fun yeah so like I, we've done that in the past like prom yeah. stories like prom stories like yeah. those sorts of things like so those are fun maybe some like middle school love stories or like you know fun little stories like that I think let's throw that in the universe or like middle school crush stories oh, because like yes we could talk about that for days yeah because I didn't really have a boyfriend in middle school no me either and most of high school too I told Bren I was like I didn't have like a serious boyfriend until my senior year of high school like didn't and I didn't even have that like I didn't have a serious boyfriend until after high school you had kind of a serious boyfriend in high school kind of a little no, bit I didn't I had one for like a month it was kind of it was serious though it was serious it wasn't that serious except for I mean he did give me his rabbit wait what I don't remember that what wait what excuse he me moved. he moved remember when he moved wait you had a rabbit <laughs> not for very long my parents were like fuck this rabbit <laughs> no that's awful no they didn't say that but they did find a new home for it because oh, because i couldn't i mean i couldn't take care of a rabbit it, it, rabbits a, a lot of work oh it had like an outside cage and everything yeah my ex-boyfriend gave me a rabbit for my birthday and i was like what the fuck am i supposed to do with this like right. so my parents found a new home for the rabbit and this boyfriend who at the time now was an ex-boyfriend who gave me the rabbit, he cried when he found out. But I was like, well, why'd you give it to me? Right. And then you broke up with me. So like, what do you want me to do? Right. Like you couldn't take the rabbit. You moved away. You moved to a different state anyway. Right. He was an ass. Yeah. And it wasn't that serious. My rabbit ended up going to one of my dad's friends who, ha- who loved rabbits. Like, had tons of oh them. that's perfect then so it just worked out but it's like <laughs> don't don't buy don't buy your high school girlfriend or boyfriend a rabbit like don't <laughs> don't buy them an animal don't get them um, an animal period especially if they're not like used to taking care of animals it's just right. animals aren't gifts no animals are not gifts unless you are a parent giving it to your child and it's your home and you're going to be the one taking care of it correct like yeah so yeah biggie was mean too he bit all the time and so like when i'd have biggie. to change his cage and stuff yeah <laughs> he was and he was a big rabbit and he was biggie and um so when i would like have to change over he would like try to because you have to take them out of the cage and then change the stuff he'd bite me every single time and i'm just like i can't deal with this like, this is, I don't even get to enjoy time with him because he bites me. Like, I can't even hold him. You get a, <laughs> I had a little leash for him and everything. I remember. Yeah. Biggie, biggie, biggie. But anyway, yeah. So don't do it. But it was anyway. the 90s. Yeah, it was the ni- It was a different time. It was a different time. <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, man. So... Yeah, we've got a ton of stories to read to you guys still. We actually have an episode that we will be releasing after this episode. We've um, already recorded. We've already recorded it. Yeah, so it's it's um it's a long time coming. Um <laughs> and uh yes it is. Spoiler alert, it's Fenway stories. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Speaking of long time coming, Speaking but you guys, long time coming. Oh, you've been so patient. You guys have we been so you. patient with it. We love you guys so much. Like for real, <laughs> for real, for real. Oh, so with that, goodbye, twenty twenty two. See ya. Hello, twenty twenty three. We are ready for you with open arms. We can't wait. This is our year. This is our year. This is our. This is our year. This yeah. is all of our, is our year everybody so with that being said as always we will be be loving loving you forever. forever that was beautiful it was beautiful bye 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 wait that sounded really bad bye bye bye